So the FNAF trailer just came out and we're going to react to it. I've not seen anything yet because thankfully it just came out. So we're going to react to it in 3, 2, 1, go. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. A security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. He's talking about him. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. All right. Come here, Ed. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Oh, they're really going different Welcome from the Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay, this is really different from the lore. We must be new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Vanessa. Met who? Them. Oh, he's falling asleep. Oh no. Oh, okay. In the 80s, kids went missing. Uh -huh. The police searched Freddy. Okay, so they're not th that Hello? different. It's just a bit different. They never found them. <laughs> That's why the place shut down. Damn, Bonnie. Children possessing giant mm. robots. All right. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. Oh, what do they want? They oh. want to make her like them. Red eyes. Bobby? Okay, so they're not the game. Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Oh. Mm -hmm. No shot. No. Bobby, go. Mm -hmm. What? Where to? Yes! Corey! Oh, I always get the weirdos. Oh, that has to be. Oh, that has to be Golden Freddy. Damn! They did not miss with that trailer. They actually really did not miss with that trailer. Springtrap. The animatronics are looking really good. The, bro, I gotta say, the lore differences are kind of weird. And somehow they're gonna make it actually real to the lore. Which is the annoying part. So rip to map pat for that. But they got Corey Kenshin in here. Springtrap is in here. What? You have Afton. We just see Afton right now. We hear his voice. I think it's a perfect match for him. Match, uh, what's called... Matthew Lillard is a great casting for Afton, I gotta say. I don't know if Springtrap is Afton in this one. It might be someone else. Maybe they're gonna change it up and say one of the kids are Afton. But it seems like the general plot is that Mike gets a job there. Vanessa informs him of the place there. And now the animatronics are trying to get Abby to turn into an animatronic. That's what I think. But so far, it's looking pretty well. I'm liking how they kind of had this rat team over there in a specific shot that they're trying to get the animatronics. I think that's also really cool that they're trying to take down the animatronics. I can't wait to see what they do with that. Other than that, I think they did a really good job with the trainer. I'm excited to see what else we get left. Maybe they're going to give us some more posters. I would love to see a full, full design of Springtrap because that those little snippets that we got from him... Looked nice, but I would actually like to see his full on design. Best part of the trailer though is Corey Kenshin. That is the greatest cameo that has ever existed. Congrats to Corey for even having having that and props to Blumhouse for getting that done. Hoping to see more cameos like that. I wish it was saved, but either way, that is a really cool cameo. I would love if Corey Kenshin actually had a full on role in the movie. I doubt it. But either way, it's still cool. I thought the trailer was really cool. How do you guys feel about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Somewhere around the middle. Let me know your thoughts below. As always, I'm Mr. 4K. And take care.